as an artist in as an artist in lockdown, um, I am staying indoors a lot. I am earning very little money. I am limiting contact with my family. Uh, so no change, really. To be honest, I think I've been in lockdown since like two thousand seven. Hey, Doug, how are you doing? Oh, <laughs> it's you again. Lockdown. <laughs> lockdown. Ah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what to do. I mean, can't go out. I can eat. <laughs> uh, I don't know what to do. Hey, Doug. Uh, hey, Steve, what's going on? I can't stand writing some days. I don't know what to do. I mean, I'm fighting with the script every single day. I, I tell you what, if there's anybody that I know can pull themselves out of this funk, it's you. I mean, you always have that ability to pull yourself out. You, you just can't give up. Did it? <laughs> What did I tell you? Yeah, no, no, no. I wrote the I wrote the log line and I wrote a pitch, and it gave me an idea how to change things. So yeah, I'm up. I'm a bit, you know. This is lockdown. You, you're the pitch king. You're the pitch king, man. After a while, we settled into our routine. You know, the family, um, getting up on time, getting kids to school. You know, on their computers. My wife and I in our home offices. We were establishing a new normal, something we could live with for a while at least. And um, and then I realized a month into the shutdown that the car had been sitting on half a tank of gas since the start of the quarantine. And then I saw, you know, when I'd sit on the back deck, I'd see more and more ver birds of different species flying around the yard that weren't normal to our area, or at least didn't seem normal. And, you know, funny thing was, the air seemed even cleaner. I enjoyed having more time with my children, seeing them throughout the day, seeing my wife. This pandemic has been a real eye-opening experience for me, especially as a writer. I have been passive in my writing for many years. I've written a few books and had received countless rejections for them. I got lost in the motions of everyday life. Other things would take priority and as a result, my writing would be placed on the back burner. There would be months when I wouldn't even pick up a pen or write anything down. I would just be a complete blank. When the world went into lockdown, everything in my life had changed almost overnight. My grandfather had passed away right as the pandemic started and I had to cancel my wedding that was supposed to happen in September. As discouraging as those two things were, it really made me stop and think about what I wanted out of life. It made me realize that I didn't want to waste my life anymore. I needed to start writing more seriously again. So I started writing almost every day and I felt more creative with each project. I felt like myself again. I had also started to shift my writing from novels to screenplays and it was like an alarm went off in my head. I had been limiting myself for so long thinking that I only had one path to becoming a successful writer. I didn't even think to exercise another option. Now I feel more determined than ever to get myself off the ground because I have this new perspective on things. In some instances, the pandemic allowed me to reevaluate what was important in my life. It gave me the time to slow down and really understand what I wanted to dedicate my time and energy towards. Writing is my one true passion, and the pandemic made me fall in love with it all over again. I've been very grateful uh, to have the opportunity to have more time to write during COVID-19. Uh, working as below the line crew, the uh, hours and stress can be very demanding and I feel like I'm getting basically a, a year's head start um, on my writing. I've been able to get a lot done during this time. Of course, it's been an emotional time, an uncertain time, especially for me financially. Um, You know, with that, I've been doing a lot of meditation and yoga just to, you know, recenter myself and remind myself what's important at the end of the day. And what's important at the end of the day 
is getting, you know, these uh, missions, these stories, these visions outside of me to share with the world. I was having a really hard time writing. I had reached a bit of a confidence low um, before lockdown. I hadn't written much for um, a good six months, I would say. Um, start of lockdown, I had COVID and then a dental abscess with no dentist, <laughs> dentist around, so it wasn't great. But um, I have to say the lockdown has done me a, a, a good turn because I got about three months in, I think, so bored that... Um, I'd watched everything on the, the telly, on in, in the internet, on Netflix, um, and and I had nothing to do, and I was so bored. I made myself go and write so that I'd have something to do, and uh, forced myself to slog through a plotting and then a first draft, and I'm away again, and I'm writing again, and I've just finished um, a seventh draft or something like that on it now and I'm really pleased with it and I'm writing again and happy so um it's, it's done me well I can't complain too much like anything in life lockdown has positives and negatives right yin and yang uppers and downers on the one hand I'm seeing a lot more of my family right but on the other side I'm getting tons of good work done so they're, they're it's not all bad hey Doug Another hey, day, what? another lockdown. <laughs> another day, another day. How but you doing? I, I got it. I'm going to write some scripts, but I got another thing because I just thought I need something to get up to in the morning, you know, like to get washed, get dressed, put clothes on because otherwise I'm just not going to do it. And I thought, YouTube, I'm going to build a YouTube site. Why not? <laughs> That's awesome. So what are you going to do? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Doug, hi. I need hey, a haircut. Yeah, you do. Yeah. You should cut your own hair like me. Yeah, exactly. How's lockdown been for you? It's been great as a family unit, but it's really helped me with, with my writing, I think. How yeah, about you? I feel the same. I mean, the thing is, I've never felt so concentrated ever because I have no choice. It's a, you know, I hate the word, but it's like a, it's a journey, definitely. And it's been a good one, lockdown. Yeah. And I think taking the bull by the horns was the, the best thing. And thanks for the support. Yeah, yeah, same here. I mean, it's hard to get through this alone. So I really appreciate everything you do, man. So. Yeah, you should do. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've definitely had a love-hate relationship with writing during quarantine. <laughs> For the longest time, it kind of felt like I was just sinking. Like everything around me was just out of control <laughs> like I couldn't trust anything um, the world as I had known it was just no more um, and honestly I struggled with a lot of anxiety and depression and there were days when I would want to get up and write and be super productive but that just didn't happen and on those days a big accomplishment for me was just the fact that I got out of bed and, <laughs> and brushed my teeth. So, you know, writing was not as much as I wanted it to be. It was not at the top of my list of things that were most important. Um, it wasn't until, let's see, the quarantine started, I think like the end of March. And honestly, it, it wasn't until about the beginning of um, this past month, which would be July, that I kind of started to surrender to everything that was going on and, and took on the attitude of, well, this is what's happening. You know, I could either continue to resist it and fight against it, or I could just sink into it and surrender and create a new routine, which is non-existent at this point because th things are just so unpredictable. So I just made this goal that um, I got an idea for a story, for a script in July. And I had to pull myself to write it. And I just made this promise with myself 
that if I could just write one scene, I am super successful and I would get to work and just be really tired and be really weighed down by everything that's going on around me. And I would just always have this thought in the back of my head, okay, just write one scene. And by making that promise with myself, I wrote 93 pages in a week. I wrote a whole script in a week. And now I'm working on something else. So the thing that really got me through this whole craziness is allowing myself the time to be frantic and not know what the heck's going on. And then two, celebrating the small victories. If I can get out of bed, great. If I can't, okay. And three, just making little deals with myself. It might be writing a scene, just write a scene. It might be just write 10 pages. It might be just write a page, but just surrendering to the process and, and not resisting. And once I, I did that, the creativity came and here I am back doing what I love again.